Hello everyone, RaptorX here, and uh, today I'm going to go over some of the tools in the equivalent exchange mod, uh, starting with the ring that lets me fly around, that I've begin, been getting some uh, questions about in the comments. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, now the, the ring is called the Swift Full Raining Gale, and uh, the recipe is pretty simple, as long as you have uh, some dark matter. Uh, and uh, yeah, we start off with a lava bucket in the middle, and then just put iron ingots around. That's going to give us a, an, iron, an iron band. There you go. And that's the, the basis for most of the rings in the equivalent exchange pack. And uh, yeah, just pretty much you have to put some dark matter. I believe it's like, like this, or maybe the other way around. We're about to find out. Oh, right, that works. Uh, here it is Swiftful Rending Gale. So it's pretty simple to make as long as you have some dark matter, which, you know, it has pretty high EMC value, but. Um, you know, once you have the collectors and the relays going, it, you get them pretty quick. So now let's move on to the the void ring, actually. Uh, this is uh, a ring I've been meaning to make for a long time. I've actually never uh, had it. But um, but yeah, let's get, let's get started. Now, it starts off with the iron band, like the other ring. But it uses only two dark matter, and then just string top and bottom. Now what this ring does, the this is the black hole band. What this does is it pretty much attracts items like kind of in the same way that the XP uh, is attracted to you and like uh, just comes to you automatically. This does the same thing for items. Now, if you combine this with uh, something called uh, I think it's the pendant of density or something along those lines, we're about to make one here. And uh, pretty much you, you combine those two items into the void ring. So let's put some diamonds here and. Here you go, gem of eternal density. That's what it's called. And now what this does is pretty much combine, uh, like uh, just pretty much material that you have in inventory, and that's why I have my inventory empty today. Uh, it combines all the materials in there, like cobblestone and dirt. Uh, and once it has enough of those materials, it upgrades them to the next tier. And uh, I, for I forget exactly what the tiers are, but it's pretty much along the lines of like uh, redstone, and then up, up to diamond and red. Red matter is the the last tier of uh, items you can go. Uh, and it's pretty useful to clean up your inventory of your mining, and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. But now the void ring is uh, pretty much these two items combined, so it pretty much absorbs all the items that are nearby through the black hole band, and then upgrades them with the uh, gem of eternal density. So let's do that now. We just put two red matter in the bottom, and here you go, void ring. Now we just put that in the in the hot bar here, put it next to my swift wood rending gale. And uh, I have my Clang Star Omega here, which is what, uh, pretty much like a battery for EMC. As you can see here, I have 47 million EMC through my uh, the other tower, not the, this collector. The other one that I have has collected a lot of red matter. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is the divining rod. Now, this is uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can you can make this pretty early on in the, in the, I guess in your adventures. And uh, what this does, it helps us find diamonds. And it's pretty simple to make. Now, you just put a stick in the middle. Then you put the the green covalence dust all around, and this gives us the first level of the uh, dividing rod. Now, this has a short range, so it's not really that it's really not that useful. But once we get to the highest tier, which is the dark blue, uh, we can have long range and pretty much detects items in a three by three square up to sixty four blocks deep, and uh, pretty much it will give you information on the items in that range. And it'll tell you there's a tungsten or or diamond. Now it won't tell you exactly what there is, but it'll tell you the EMC value, and then you can pretty much guess if it's worth it, uh, uh, mining in that direction or not. Now here it is. Here's the third the third tier divining rod. And what we're going to be using today for mining is the destruction catalyst. Now I could be using my morning star, but I'm going to leave that for another episode. So let's make the destruction catalyst first. Now what we need here is to make some uh, TNT. Here we go. Actually, no. This doesn't go like that. It goes like this. Here we go, TNT. Actually, I just realized I'm short in sand. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's see here. Hopefully, some sand comes by. The other way around. I'm going to stop it. It doesn't look like it. Oh, boy. Alright. I just have to go grab some now. There you go. 
that's more than enough. And as you can see here, I'm flying. Just double tap space and you can fly with the uh, swift full rain to go on your hot bar. And just uh, if you hold shift, you go down. Or just double tap space again and you'll drop. You won't take any fall damage from the from the from yeah from the fall as long as you have the the swift wool rending gill in your inventory. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to this. I'll make another TNT. More gunpowder. There you go. And now we need to upgrade this TNT into the I think it's called the Nova. Nova Catalyst. Yeah, there you go. And now this is a, an upgraded version of the TNT. It does more damage. But we need four of these. Actually, first we need to make the flint and steel, because we need one of those. Flint, iron ingot, flint and steel, and put that in the middle. Then no catalyst in the corners, and Mobius fuel, like I showed you in the other earlier episode how to make. And I guess it's the destruction catalyst. And here we have it. Now, let, let me find a spot we can try this out. I'm going to go out the back, actually. I don't want to destroy the front of, a, of the map here. Hopefully this chunk's load. It's loading really slowly today. The server's been lagging. All right, there you go. Now, holding, uh, pressing V increases the charge of the Nova Catalyst. Now, at maximum charge, I forget exactly how many blocks it will go down, but it, it, it's quite a bit. So now what we want to do is with the uh, dividing rod, we want to right click on a block. Now it will pretty much, if I right click on this block right here, it will detect this three by three block, so pretty much this uh, nine block radius, all the way down. Now what we have to do here first is uh, change the mode. Let's see, if, uh, there you go. Dividing rod and mid range, long range. There you go. Just by pressing G, that's a default key, and uh, just right click, and there you go. It tells us that uh, best found is 256. Uh, that could be, huh? Not sure exactly what that could be, but it's obviously not diamond or anything useful. 128, 256. So I'm just right clicking. Oh, 4,000 something in this area. So that 4,000, I'm pretty sure that's uranium. 4,096 EMC. Now what we were looking for here is at least 8,000 to make it worth our while. Now obviously. I should probably go down deeper so we can get it. Uh, let's just go down this way. Get the destruction catalyst and go straight down. There you go. And now, pretty much, it drops that little bar, that little ball. And what we want to do now is activate this ring with, uh, I believe, it's G. There you go. And you saw that there just went right into me. All the items are that went into my inventory. Now, the the density, the general density, whatever, will leave you one stack of construction materials, so it won't consume everything. But whatever uh, you get after that, it will convert it into the higher tier. Now, if it doesn't have enough to make the higher tier, it will just store it meanwhile. So it's a nice way for uh, to have your inventory managed, I guess. Unless these are dividing rod again, some uh, 4,000 EMC that way. Do that. Let's go this way then go see right away picked it up and it's just consuming all the cobblestone it's gonna it's gonna do that for all these items as you can see here the re uranium I noticed is 4096 EMC I picked it up and uh, and yeah I mean it's pretty good it's a it's a different way of uh, I guess mining definitely and uh, you just pretty much have to spend a little bit of time messing around with the divining rod looking for a uh, the items. Oh, eight eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. Let's go down this way. Whoop. Oh, see what we picked up. Now we have some coal here, some uranium. I wonder if we picked it up. We probably have to go down one more. Let's see here. Eight thousand. Let's do it again. Whoop. Let's try it again. Oh, still we haven't picked it up. Now we went all the way down to bedrock, so we definitely picked it up. But four diamonds there we go so I mean it's, it's really useful and uh, as you can see <laughs> the density ring picked it up now you can deactivate it by, by pressing G again but I'm just letting it accumulate all the material you can and uh, it will start popping out with uh, I believe it will be uh, dark matter next and actually 
Let's see if I... There you go. If you press G, you release all the items. And it really start diamond. So you don't really lose it. It just it will hold it for you. So if I press G again, it will start absorbing all the items again. And uh, storing it in the ring until I can upgrade it to a higher tier. So it's pretty nice. That way you don't fill up your inventory with a... Oh, wow. I've never seen this many diamonds together. Okay. Let's get a destruction catalyst. And there you go. I mean, it's, it's a pretty neat way. As you can see here, it's creating uh, iron ingots out of the out of the materials. And then once it has enough, it will start upgrading here to gold, as you can see. And and so on. So, I mean, it's a different way of, uh, of mining. It is definitely expensive to make since you need a... Uh, the, the well not really the divining rod and the destruction catalyst but what you need the expenses of is for the void ring and the gem of density all right now I've waited a little while here to it got dark and that's because I want to show you guys uh, one of the special tricks here of the swift wolf rending gale and uh, it's pretty much uh, if you hold it uh, in your in your hand and you press C it will change color and uh, what that does it activates uh, a force field around you and it's pretty neat because uh, especially with uh, those little nasty guys over there, the creepers, they it will keep them at a, at a safe distance. It's, uh, the force field, I believe, is a five by five block ar around you, and uh, it, it won't allow them to blow up on you. So let me just get close to this guy. Yeah, don't don't even try. You see, he just gonna stay there. You can even push him off, and this guy as well. They can they can't sneak up on you anymore because they'll be just close enough that you can see him but he can't blow up so it's great and you can still fly around just double tap in space like I mentioned earlier um, overall it's a great tool uh, of which I could see it oh there you go a skeleton it will also work with a skeleton with the uh, arrows he he always can't get any closer and the arrows it just looks like he misses every time but it's actually the force field that's preventing him the, the arrows from hitting you now <laughs> now if you move I think he can hit you so, yeah, there you go he hit me there but as long as if you stay still he, he will miss because it, it only slightly deviates so if you move while he's shooting some of the arrows will actually hit you like that one actually kind of bounced off of me and yeah and this guy he's having a tough day trying to blow up on me so yeah if you have any questions like always leave a comment down below and if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe it really helps out Bye.